Good morning, schmoes and schmo aspirants. How are you? I wore a shirt that's slightly transparent so you can see the trees through my shirt. Um, I actually put it on and I was like, oh wait, this shows up as transparent. And then I was like, oh wait, I think that's funny. So we're just, we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna do that and let you guys see through my chest because I mean, why not, right? Yeah, I'm gonna some some OC remix this morning. I don't listen to OCR enough anymore. I've realized that I've had that. Welcome to my brain corner. I've realized I've had like a funny relationship with music lately. Like, rather than listen to the things that I really really like, I'll be putting on like radio stations for like background music, right? So I'll be like, okay, I want something chill or I want something that's a little pump up, and I'll put on something that's not specific, and then I find that like I don't really experience the music. I miss. I miss like going through my playlist and figuring out, uh, you know, like, okay, yeah, this is one of my favorite albums. I want to listen to Ben Folds, Rock in the Suburbs or something like that. And I find that once I realized that and went back to like doing, picking specific music that I really enjoy, my mood really improved. Like it was like music kind of took me out of, of a, a kind of a bummer time over the last, I don't know, week or so, because I just started listening to the stuff that I really, really like. I have, oh my God, I want to show you guys. I pulled this out. I pulled this out of my like drawer. It's like my iPod from 2006 uh, that miraculously survived. 80 gigabytes, 80 gigabyte iPod right here. Um, this has to be, I don't remember when I bought it. I gotta think. I lost an iPod on the ski slopes. I was, I brought an iPod with me on the ski slopes back when I was in college, I think. Yeah, how do you do fellow kids? Uh, what a dinosaur. I remember losing it on the ski slopes and buying another one, but I can't remember if I bought this one uh, when I was in college or when I was in Germany. Either way, it was no later than 2009, right? That thing is 11, at least 11 years old, probably more. But it still works, and it still has all this, this great music on it, and it, um, it's, it's fun to kind of rediscover, like, oh, yeah, I used to love this band and this album and, and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I don't know if music means any, the same thing to you as it does to me, but I encourage you guys to, like, kind of tap back into that. Back into your music roots. Uh, Cascadia asked me what kind of coffee I'm drinking. I'm drinking a black Americano that I made on my espresso machine. Um, I'm drinking a local... Uh, I drink decaf because I, I'm generally not... I'm a fairly anxious person, um, and caffeine doesn't do great things for me. I stopped, I quit caffeine... I don't know, two and a half years ago. So, like, I have to find decaf beans that I really, really, really like, and I'm very picky. And there's a local place near me that has great decaf. So, I'm just drinking... I'm just drinking a, a, a black Americano. Yeah, every once in a while, I'll do, like, a half-calf. But for the most part, I don't miss it. Um, I never drank coffee... I was just talking about this with somebody the other day. I never drank coffee uh, for the caffeine, like, for the... For the um the energy i never was like i'm so tired i need a cup of coffee it was always like i like coffee and that's what i want to drink now um so it doesn't bother me I, I don't i don't miss the caffeine at all the scone is right here i broke it in two pieces i'll put it back together so i could show it's it's like this and i broke it i broke it up i was uh i was in, in a neighborhood that i used to go to a lot and I haven't been to in a while and has one of my favorite coffee shops and i got one of their scones mm. That's delicious. I can't do stevia sweetener. It, the, I just can't. There are so few artificial sweeteners that it's blueberry that I can do. I know it's not a scone. Give me a break. Um, so I can't do stevia. I can do like a little bit of monk fruit and maybe it's blueberry. It's blueberry. Um, I could do a little bit of monk fruit, and I could do a little bit of like erythritol, but for the most part, like after, after that, it's like that one gamer. Are you are you are you in England right now, or are you uh, an immigrant, a, a British immigrant? It's a blueberry non scone, okay. Uh, 
I, um, man, when I went to, uh, for those of you that just haven't been here a long time, I, I, I'm ex-military and I traveled all over the place. When I was in Europe, I went to like 33 different countries, but, um, I spent uh, a weekend in Edinburgh, Scotland, and found, like, I found scones that were so good that I tasted them on Friday, and I, I was like, I was, at the end of it, I was like, look, I want to bring two dozen of these back to Germany, where I'm stationed. Can you have them ready for me Sunday morning before I go to the airport? And they're like, yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> no, I did not wear a kilt. So, uh, I actually traveled back to Germany with this big f***ing box of scones. And I gave it to my, my unit, and I was like, guys, guys, these are amazing. And, like, nobody ate them. And I was so upset, because I was like, you don't understand how amazing these are. And it was just people, like, kind of, like, nibbled on them. They just weren't as excited. That was one of the, the times I found out that, like, people just in general aren't as excited about food as I am. And that's okay, because that means I get to eat more of it. And also means when I meet people who are excited about food, it's like a, yes, we're, we're in a secret club. I have never been to Denmark. That was not one of the, the countries I made it to. I would totally wear a kilt. Throw away these people. I would definitely, I would definitely wear a kilt. I did try haggis, and I loved it. Um, I was, I was skeptical, but I, it was delicious. I absolutely loved haggis. I would eat that any day of the week. Haggis, if you don't know, is like, um, it's like cheap intestine, right? It's a Empire Strikes Back mug. But it's, it's other stuff. It's, it's over, overly simplistic to say that haggis is sheep intestine. It's, uh, it's, it's a bunch of stuff kind of like stuffed inside. It's not quite blood pudding. Blood pudding I didn't like. The texture, we're really on like a tangent this morning. Blood pudding I didn't like because the texture was very like, um, like the flavor was good, but it had this like pasty, pasty texture that kind of reminded me of like, I don't know, like pate, like liver pate. Um, so while, while, like, like I said, I like the stew, uh, not the stew. I saw Mira Mira's comment about stew. I like the taste of it, but I didn't, I, I just couldn't get into the texture of it. I can be fairly adventurous. Who's texting me? It's too early for me to get texts. I have to, I'm going to, I'm going to turn on, turn off my phone so that I no longer get yeah, that, I'm not a fan of liver either. I know it's really good for you. The uh, the weirdest thing I've ever eaten, and the grossest thing I've ever eaten, is boiled rabbit lung. I'm not even making that up. I would do a just chatting stream where I talk about food. I'm just, look... It was survival school. I was starving. We got a rabbit. And all parts of it are edible. And when you're starving, all parts of them are very edible. No seasoning. No salt. It was awful. Um, in any case, do you guys... First of all, okay. Do you see the intensity that is happening with this pancake and waffles poll? It has like 25,000 votes. And it is so, so close. Like, within three-tenths of a percent between these two things. It's nuts! It's like, it's like the, it's like Georgia. Yeah, stop the count! No! What? <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's too depressing to make jokes about the state of U.S. democracy. But I want to. What is it now? I'm going to check before. I promise we're going to actually play this game. It is... There are two hours left. Um, there are 25,000 votes. Pancakes is barely behind waffles at 49.2% to 50.8%. I did not... 
at all expect this to be so tight. I really, I really did. I, I just, I, I don't know. Okay. We can totally play the game now. We can stop talking about food. <clears throat> Shadowverse Champions Battle. Where's my? So anime, like so 1990s anime. I love it. The music. All right. Now, I have no I have crate rewards and people get really upset. Oh my god. Alright. I know I have card packs to make. But we're on um We're on story where I use and there's no dragon craft here, so I can't use any of my things anyway. Alright, we were on Miser. Where I made the most amazing uh, precognition casting call of all time. Still not going to fight anyone, though. Don't open the packs because they're worth more literally tomorrow. Okay. Last stream got inappropriate and I loved it. I feel like Miser's like his gloves here, right? I feel like I would get stuff lost in it all the time. Like I'd be looking for my keys and they'd be stuck in these like billowing leather gauntlet things he's got going on. And does he starch this? Does he starch the coat, or is there always just like a low grade wind blowing? I guess Arisa has like a wind going on here too. Maybe she starches her cape. そんで、この二つの地域にはそれぞれトップに立つ者がいる。トップですか？そう、王様さ、金婚外の王、武力を司る、赤と中と、富裕外の王、経済を司る。アイシー連ドリンクその王様たちはそっちゃそうだがオッピラにはあらそってないチアンを司るヴィンセントさんこの三人ちなみに三人のことは対談って呼んでるおっかないからかかっとうわおっかないですねこれは時計台だ<笑
マイザーだけをやめときな苦労するよこいつの相手はああもううるさいあっちがあっちはいはい後でうちに寄ってきなよパイが余っちまってねうちにも来いガキがお前の話してうるせえからなあとそうだマイザー Was that a pickup line? Was she trying to pick him up? Was there no real pie? Wish you like, I made some extra pie later. Why don't you come over and have some? Miser, I don't know. Huh? No, no. Saikin, you know, the Kuni Kashtakane or Kaishu, she has met her in that. Nanka, I see the Wasa does it. Oh, oh, so small, Kioskero. Nankatra, Suga, so does you know, Taka, you know, Chakashiota. マイザーさんってみんなに好かれてるんですねえあそうかはい私なんかあそうだあのあこれってああ、yes the fabled golden chicken nugget envy of everyone in reveal 私にはよくわからないんですけどえっとそっかそりゃきっとそいつはいいやつだなわかった俺がありがとうございますそんじゃ次はどこを案内しようかなあの路地裏は危ないしかといって詰め所に帰っても仕方ないしあっ as long as he's not like well the back alleys are really rough so how about my apartment セリーナさんあ,あ俺の幼馴染でなへえー、ぜ<笑>じゃあこっちだおいセリーナーなんだよ言っとくけどツケの代金なら1ゴールドもまからないから Oh she's the third protagonist right? Yeah ちょ違うって珍しく外から人が来たんだってお前に合わせてちょっとあどうしたこれでも痛いかバカ言ってんなこっち来いあちょっと引っ張るなってちょなんだよ賭けの代金は返すってそれは当たり前でもそれじゃないじゃあなんだよもしかして紹介した男と。あ、Miser doesn't have time for his own love life, but he's setting Selina up with people。あのね、あの子を見て何も思わないわけ。思わないって。格好を見ろ格好を。わあ、広いな、綺麗だな。あんな服見たことないだろうそれにあの子が手に持ってるのあれ何弓そういうことじゃない確かに It's cause she was cute and Miser was like too twitter pated 僕はレビールの外に出たことないけど外の連中が弓を使わないことくらいは知ってるマイザーだってそうでしょじゃああの子なんだよ幻覚かさあねけどままじかあんたにかかれば IC レンドリングだって善人だとにかくとにかくほら Oh now there's children なんかかっこいいマートなにこれうんえっとけ,けどそうやって何でもかんでも疑うのはよくないだろうここはレビールだぞ疑わないでどうすんだよお前昔はもっと素直だったろあ、oh, The Childhood Friend Backstory <笑> Which means they're gonna fall in love
つの間に仲良くなったんだな<笑>もういいご飯にするそう俺とアリサも送ってっていいかバカ勝手にしろうぅ I think Selena might be a little jealous There might be a little jealousy in there いやあれ待たせちゃったないえそんな私こそうるさくしちゃっていいんだって子供はうるさく遊ぶもんだうんわその私は子供じゃご飯用意したよしっかり食べなさいはーいよーしアリサ一緒に行こうぜえっとはいセリーナの飯はうまいぞ楽しみだな I'm taking the music. A hundred percent. There is a love triangle on the way. That's my favorite thing to say in Japanese restaurants. I remember when I was in Japan, I learned that phrase as like a really polite way to say like, thank you for the meal. And like, I would walk out of the restaurant and say, Go to sama desu And they'd be like, oh, they just, they would freak out because this dumb American said something really polite. It was, it was my favorite, my favorite parlor trick in Japan. Oh, <laughs> Selena is a great cook as long as you have four amulets. Deep, deep shadow verse joke there, adrenaline. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, we haven't seen anybody else from the original cast in Reveal yet, have we? Erika san, Isabel san, Rowen san, Yurias san, Iris san, Dareka, Sitetarishimasenka. I'm done with this gun. I need to put it aside. Yeah, rips go. Oh, a miser has a hero complex. Relatable. Very relatable. Arisa. お前が今朝捕まえたやつとさっき捕まえたやつ。そいつらが。わかった。俺、セリナ、アリサ、急用だ。え、ちょ、この子は？お前に任せる。そんじゃな。お、お、お。あ、ご飯の代わりって。あ
Like, I can't think of any... I can't think of any in any of the languages I know, except different sounds for, like, different sounds for um, animals in Russian. Like, they don't go woof woof. That's not... Yeah, okay. Japanese is 80% automatopoeia. Aki, what are some... Oh, Crash Pot. Okay. Nice, Luke. So, Wakatetandes. Dakara Karedawa Murinonai Hani de Kumen Stemoranteta. Do you put a scar? I see no. Kuni Risoku Tsuriangetanda so this. Chotto Shinji Rarena Kurai. No, so no good. Eh, so no good to Suru Imina night. Why would you want to strangle geese? Okay, let's investigate. Who do we have with that kind of gumption? He's totally setting you up, Miser. He's, he's setting you up for failure. I just want you to know that that's what this looks like. Where, like, he wants to get rid of you and is sending you on some impossible, dangerous mission. Those guns look kind of cool in the background. うつべき時になったら打ちなさい。まだ怖いですか？あなたなら克服できます。だから約束してください。You <laughs> have to learn to pull the trigger. I think that quote is from the original Blade movie. I don't know where it just kind of popped in into my head. Wesley Snipes yelling it. I think the female lead. I don't remember. それではマイザー、あなたにご不倫を与えます。愛しの手下などを捜査し、彼らが回収して先ほども話した通り、大っぴらに動くことはできません。従ってこれは大変。Super sus. <laughs> Doesn't work as good in the mug, I don't think. <sighs> Unexpected use of the word pee. Most folk would pee themselves before anybody even finishes saying the word Titan, but he stood up and volunteered. He's out of his cotton picking mind, I swear to God. I said. I said pee. That's right. I said urinate. Most folks would urinate themselves before anybody finishes saying the word happen, but he still up and just went. He just went for it. I didn't I didn't use a command. That was weird. That's not cotton eye dough. That's a different kind. Cotton eye dough is all the way up here. He doesn't have that kind of lisp. けど、ビンセントさん。ビンセントさんも知ってるでしょう。握れもしない。で、心配なんてや暮ですよね。けど。ああ、ナイス。彼ならば乗り越えてくれますよ。Wait、is Lawful sin. We're never gonna get to play. Vincent also has a chin strap here. Could have been when I used to pretend to be a lawman. Or maybe it was during a chat with the abbess about the wicked ways of the world. You know what? 
I bet it was the time I saw Selena crying all lonesome like. Seeing the tears stream down her cheeks broke my heart. Oh, I had to make Reveal better. I had to shoot some bad guys in the face. <laughs> I knew I'd be a bona fide deputy. Come hell or high water. You betcha. I'm gonna be a lawman, and I'm gonna be blinded by my singularly tunnel vision view of justice. Chew! <laughs> Chew! Could you imagine if she actually remembers that? I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Anyhow, that happened. Everyone told me I was a lucky dog. And my dreams had come true. Even if Reveal is known more for granting nightmares. Oh, it was good. Hey, boss! Why are you yelling? <laughs> Could you imagine, like... Like being the director of the FBI, right? And like some peon, like GS1 agent runs into your office and is like, hey, sir, I'm brand new. I just want to say I love working here. Mm. Yeah. I packed a salad with hard boiled eggs for lunch. He's nervous yelling. No, hang on, hang on. How do you shoot ten bullseyes simultaneously out of a repeating revolver? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, you can't shoot them simultaneously. Eh? Eh? That's what I said. See? Even Miser's like, eh? What? Huh? Yeah, that's very Gatekeeper. I get it, Thundercats. I bet Gatekeeper, like the first time he was at, he went up to Rhea and was like, Greetings, uh, Rhea! I'm your new Gatekeeper! Vincent <laughs> Oh, okay, so there's actually an explanation. Oh, now you're the recalcitrant employee? <laughs> that looked very uncomfortable. Like, that, lo <laughs> that looked very uncomfortable. Oh, wow. He just got a little wink from that lady. Like, he definitely looked like he just goosed the guy. Like, wrong. He was walking with his belt, he was leading with his belt buckle. Oh, God, God, guys. Justice served with a smile. He's almost like intolerably good. But at the same time, at the same time, okay. So picture this like you're in a violent exchange with a bunch of like barricaded suspects in a house, right? And you use your ten bullseyes, and you litter the ground with bodies. Like, there's just bodies everywhere. And blood all over the ground because you just you just had a shootout. And he's like, Justice served with a smile! Over, like, a graveyard. Then it's creepy, right? Murder served with a smile! He belongs in Fire Emblem. Oops.
そんなわけねえよ。おい、その人話せ。<笑>話せるかよ。話したら捕まっちまうだ。<笑>そりゃそうだ。けど<笑>頼む。頼むから。こんな。Yeah. And what are you doing during Miser? This is like a huge amount of time for you to draw and shoot, buddy. Had enough time to draw a knife? Shoot the dude. No, you had spectacular talents and you didn't use them. You could have just shot him. Oh, and you shot the woman, didn't you? Maybe if you weren't aiming at his knife and instead were aiming at his chest. Miser. Miser, listen up. Well, you assaulted a citizen. You, you did, in fact, do something there. Justice served with a smile. I was listening to you. I was i s Hey, Jess. Hi. I mean, don't ruin it. That's, my, that's half my job, Thunder Catherine, is I ruin all the important moments. <laughs> look, it, Vincent has such dad energy here, right? He's basically like, you want to go get some ice cream? You, would, some, would some ice cream help? Yeah, I think I bet some ice cream would help. ごめんなさい、ヴィンセントさん。俺、もうダメかもしんないです。震えちゃって。銃もうまく持てないんですよ。こんなんじゃ、保安官補なんて無理ですよね。スマイザー、あなたがどうなろうと、あなたを見捨
Saloon is closed for now. Oh, we're back in the present, right? Okay. She coughed a pair of my regulars. Jeez. Bunny and Baron. I missed them. それで何の用だそうしたいとこなんだけどな。アイシーレンドリングの噂知らないか取り立てがああ、前に誰かが話してたな。相当遠ここだけの話だが。アイシーレンドリングは金のかかる道楽を始めたって噂だぜ。うー
Oh, my is getting a little cold detective here. This is not where I expected this. This is not where I expected this to go. Really? どうしたんですか、ヴィンセントさん。いえ、ちょっと嫌な予感。マイゾ。まあ、大丈夫。それは分かってるんですが、なん。まあ、ヴィンセントさん、そんなのするに決。ですよね。If I don't get to fight here, I'm going to quit it, and I'm going to go to the arena and fight somebody. Nope. I'm done. We'll just replay it. We're just going to re- we're going to replay lighting in, the, lighting in the Dark when we go back. But right now, I'm going to go fight somebody. So, is this a card game, or- Oh, Victory Awards. All right. Uh, I don't think I have any rotation decks that I can play, do I? I can't. I can't use any of my rotation decks, because everything is out of rotation now. It's garbage. No battle. We're just gonna... It did rotate. Why do rotation decks rotate, son of a... Alright, let's see who I matched up with here. <clears throat> This curse is my strength. Maybe I'll make a maybe I'll make a new deck here after I play this game. Um Nope. Oh no, ambushing. Uh, okay, let's do this. Hear the dragon's roar. Yeah, we can make a new rotation deck maybe after I... Yeah, that, I'm. this is not going to go well for me. I can already tell. I'm, I'm not really getting what I need here. Ninja art. Sheep counting jutsu. Uh, okay, let's do this and this maybe. We'll ramp a little bit. Yeah, Xion in Portal is pretty, uh, pretty intense. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I've got really nothing, huh? Um... Okay, that'll kind of help. Sure. I like well, it. I don't know. I'm definitely not winning this one. I mean, Jade Long can come out next and start putting some pressure on, but... Yeah, they're playing Swordcraft. I go with the wind. He goes with the wind. All right, then. That sounds great. All my plus one plus zero. Two. Oh, man. Oh, that's not going to help. All right, so that's kind of tough. I am gonna roll the dice a bit here, I've got nothing to and I'll take down this one and 
kind of increase my odds of, of knocking out this guy in the middle. We'll see. Does it work? Nope. Exactly what I did not need. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. That uh, that would have it would have been nice. Yeah. Oh, that was interesting. Not what I expected. Let me think here. Okay. So I can try for that again. I gotta get rid of that warded ward there. I can do that with an Evolved Serpent Drake, and then multiply, and that'll be kind of nice. Be consumed by the dragon's roar. How much health do I have left? 10? That'll kind of work there. Uh, I have some insurance, so I'll try this. Nope. Not at all what I needed. Burning flames will freeze. But I can do this and use my White Frost Whisper to tack that one out. Okay, and that actually spawns some kind of motorcycle. There's only two cards in her hand. Well, it depends on what uh, it depends on what they top deck. This is very possible to end me here. But otherwise, if I'm actually set up pretty good, it depends. What does this do? Speed things up. Ooh, that's it. I'm not really sure what happened there, but the power. It's overwhelming. I didn't see what card they threw out. That's close. Alright, let's build ourselves. We haven't done any deck building in a while. Let's head back to uh Let's see what we can... I, I know how to play. Can I just delete all these? Stroke of Conviction, yeah. All right, we'll keep the two decks. Now, which of the which which can't be used? Let's take a look at what can't be used. I know. Okay, hoverboard mercenary can no longer be used. Angelic smite can no longer be used. That's it. What could I replace with that? I mean that kind of stinks. I think I think this deck is kind of like hobbled now because they're out of rotation, Rose. Mostly of they're mostly available. I wonder what I could. So what I had the angelic smite were kind of insurance for me, and the uh, hoverboard mercenaries helped me bring um, helped me bring cards in. Let's go, let's check out the... Okay, I like that. Let's try that. Let's replace the... the, um... Hoverboard Mercenary with the Bubble Mermaid. And let's see about... Is my Overwhelming Crush available? Because that's kind of what I needed there. You have plus one, plus one, and rush to a Dragoncraft follower in your hand. Deal five damage, right? 
I mean, five damage to a random enemy follower is nice. Uh, my overwhelming crush isn't available anymore. Let's try that. Save it as don't let it get to you. All right, so let's go to... We'll try this once before we head to halftime. I want to test it out. Don't let it get to you. There's no whale in my deck. Sorry. <sighs> no whales. I wanted to see if I could modify the deck that I had been using to keep it... <clears throat> keep it uh, somewhat familiar. Yes, Rowan's theme. <laughs> Victory rewards. This curse oh no. Is my Mother, father, come on. Hmm. Well, hmm. Do I keep the AM for the draw? This is an interesting hand. Let's try it. but make it fashion. I love it. Uh. Why did I want to go to them? We're ramping. I'll get some of that health back, and then I'll drop a Lightning Glosser after. Or, uh, let's see. No more corpses. Alright, now I got some trees to burn. Still not great here. What's coming out next? Two trees and a raptor, maybe? Depends on what I top deck. This is I'm, there's way too much on their board. I'm not controlling the field at all. Yeah, really, really quite aggro. Dragon impact, rush to dragon perhaps. I mean I've gotta do something about this board. Um... I've got nothing to fear. I'd say this is probably not working out for me. Can I drop on tree? Too? Plenty of trees. Uh, I mean, if I pull a Valdane, this could get kind of interesting. But I'm taking way too much damage each turn. I mean, trade this. Yeah, you get to trade that guy. Why would you do that? Oh, because you want the bullet bike. All right, so what am I doing with six play points here? Yuck. Time to clock in, lazy boy. Yuck. Kind of haunted. No, literally. Holy smokes, you guys. All right, Viridia Magna can take care of this. But it doesn't help me, like, move forward here. Um, is it three damage? Okay. Let's use it. Can I haunt you too? And... Let's bring in the Whirlwind. Doesn't totally make sense to ramp. Be consumed by the dragon's roar. Can I please? I mean, next turn is VM. 
or uh, not VM, AM. They're running out of cards in their hand, like three a three hand. The corrupted soil style will not tolerate evil. Ow! You know, literally. Damn, there's just nothing. This isn't really what I wanted to do with this. Can I haunt you too? Okay, okay. Great, I can heal. One, two. Three. Three evolve. Victory is within my grasp. From tepid squall to raging. Tempest. Yes. The storm front bellows. I demand a rematch. I'm board locked, but that's a little scary. It's not OTK land, but. Oh, I won't have 10 play points. Uh. A mermaid healer just wants to turn this on. Darling, you complete me. Why would the dead need a living way? No, really. So you gotta burn and evolve. You can't! Holy crap! I'm leaving. Yes! I knew I got it! Beautiful. The second cherub didn't heal. Yeah, I didn't notice that the second cherub because that was one of my Natura cards. Defeat isn't an option. Well, let's not get carried away. And I got the victory reward. Home we go. But that means it's time for halftime. Okay. So, we're in halftime right now. We have a different halftime based on every game we play. This one, you guys, it's always audience participation. You guys get to give me the name of a, uh, a fake Shadowverse card, and I have to dramatically deploy it and describe what it does, much like this. By activating my pot of green. This lets me draw two more cards. Second, I activate pot of green, which lets me draw two more cards from my deck. Then I'll activate my pot of green. This lets me draw two cards, but I'm not done yet. Next, I play Pot of Green. This allows me to take two cards from my deck and add them to my hand. I play Pot of Green. You know what that means, don't you? Tell me. Oh, you'll find out. I'm about to... You guys get the point. You guys get the point, right? <clears throat> okay. So let's see what we got going on here. <clears throat> This one comes from you too. We'll start here. Who who wants to know what the card Phoenix up does? Which is interesting. It's okay. So like, there's Phoenix down. What does Phoenix up do? Um, it's funny. Like, cause for the longest time when I was a kid, I thought that Phoenix down, like the down, actually meant like going down. But what they meant is like down from a phoenix, like feathers. And it was just. Like, I really didn't realize, like, oh, it's not Phoenix down. It's Phoenix down. Like, goose down or duck down. But, you know, whatever. In any case. I deploy the card Phoenix up. Your opponent grossly misinterprets the mythological significance of what the feather of a Phoenix does and thinks that you're talking about the direction down and up. So you feel kind of dumb. In any case, 
when you deploy this card, instead of reviving a card that was dead, you kill a card that was alive, because when phoenixes go up, it's bad news for everyone. Phoenix up. I don't know about that one, guys. I don't know. All right. Carbessix sends this next one. That's Grandma's Outlaws. Okay. I deploy the card Grandma's Outlaws. You think the outlaws of today are good. And when people say not your grandma's outlaws, typically they mean something like, oh, those old outlaws were easy. But that's not the way your grandma remembers it. It's a trap. When your grandma's outlaws come into play, they beat the sh out of everyone because it was hard back when they were growing up. They didn't have like repeating revolvers and all that stuff. Grandma's outlaws are real gangster mother -fuckers. When you deploy this card, three grandmas come onto the field, each of them with a purse full of, is it rolls of quarters or were there's originals? You won't know until you get hit by them. Either way, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, grandma tokens. Three grandma tokens. <laughs> I'm not really sure what this is. This one comes from uh, Sakura Dreamers. Uh, yeah, I died. <laughs> Uh, I deploy the card Sexy Autocorrect Dungeon. And you are about to engage in some serious ducking. Like some really, really serious hard more ducking is going on right here. <laughs> I feel like that's as far as I want to go with this one. Sexy Autocorrect Dungeon. We're still in the Legends of Zelda, aren't we? <clears throat> uh, SD Teen Wolf uh, submits the card Polter Pup. I deploy the card Polter Pup. When playing against Shadowcraft, when this card comes into play, the, the evil demon Shadowcraft Luna player, they think they're summoning a poltergeist, which is scary and mean and breaks stuff in your house. But the polter pup is a good boy. The polter pup card transforms any geist into a pup on the board. And all of a sudden, instead of being deadly, it's just really cute. I mean, I guess. Thunder Catherine. I deploy the card, suddenly BDSM Dungeon. You're lost in a very wholesome game made in 1993 where sex wasn't really discussed. It was just sort of alluded to. But all of a sudden, BAM! You're in a BDSM Dungeon being whipped by a vampire dominatrix. You don't know what the f*** going on. You're not even really sure if you like it but you know definitively that there is no choking allowed on this stream. And that's never gonna change. Even if you like it. Suddenly BCSM Dungeon. For those of you that missed the Quest for Glory stream yesterday, that's, that's where that joke comes from. Hmm. Mira Mira submits this card, the the Great Pancake and Waffle War. Let's check in on the Great Pancake and Waffle War. Let's see what's going on. 
Pancakes are slowly creeping up, but with only an hour left, I don't think pancakes are gonna make it, guys. It's 49.3% pancakes to 50.7% waffles. It, we can't stop the count. We have an hour left. And that's not how democracy works. We may have to have a recount. All right, now that we know where that is, let me get back to where I was in the... Oops. I deploy the card, the Great Pancake and Waffle War of 2020. When this card comes onto the field, everybody is confused because pancakes are clearly superior to waffles, and there is no rhyme or reason why over 50% of the population would consider waffles to be superior. So when this card comes onto the field, all of your opponent's butter gets stuck in places that it's not supposed to. Because when you try to spread butter on a waffle, it just doesn't work. Because there's all those crevices and your butter gets everywhere. And so you have to put like half a pound of, like you did put like one little square of butter in each waffle square. In any case, everybody is dissatisfied. everybody we're gonna get the groove on let's get that groove on yeah all right it's just from, this is from street fighter alpha 2 okay we'll do one more and then i'm gonna take a break This one comes from Roselda. Who, uh, I deploy the card, no battles, but only story. But this card never makes it to the field because there's no game going on. Mods, let's give away some card packs.
Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm gonna try one more rotation battle. Ah. Nintendo, Dame, welcome East Coast girl. Where's my hydration? No, you can put the pancake pole on your radio show. I just, I really don't think pancakes are gonna make it. I don't think it's gonna happen. That makes me sad. I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit voice acting. This curse is my strength. 
because I have, I mean, like, if that's, if people that like waffles are the people that I'm making these stories for, I just am not sure I want to make them. All right. So, okay, this is a ramp on turn three. You did miss halftime, Bonnie. How many people have voted? 25,359 votes. I'm going to become a pancake lobbyist. Pork barrel pancake projects in the in Congress. Come on. Um okay, yeah, this is a turn three ramp. But I'm not gonna be able to put anything else on the board. I actually I would love to get one of my first national commercial commercials, uh, Thunder Catherine, was for Home Goods, um, and it was about pancake Sundays. Now that you mention that, ooh, tapping out on turn one for Havencraft. Uh, I guess I'll use Traveler's Respite, even though I don't need to heal. Um, and the next turn, we'll win. Pteranodon is coming out. Van Diskin is also for waffles? Man, I thought I knew and trusted these people. Transformation. Holy okay. Fine, we'll ramp. Five play points next turn will allow me to attack, use Wildfire Tyrannosaur, um, bubble, drop a bubble boar mermaid, drop a bubble bubble bubble. Do I have a Machina follower? Is he? Uh, no, I won't have a Machina follower. Hallowed Cave Shrine. And warded stuff is going to make me mad. I need to pull, um, Valdane here. Hmm, now I can't, now I can't do what I need to do. Okay. What did you sell? Gadget mermaid. play against storm i don't have anything that i can well all right we'll do crap can i get rid of them both i can't i can get rid of one of them kind of a funny way to use this but and then we'll put a bubble born in play uh Uh-huh. Kind of a weird... All right. You can do it. Aegis transformation! Holy gem! This armor's turning... Oh, wow. There's, like, so much ward going on. I don't have any, like... Oh, what can I do here? Can I ping anybody? No. Quite annoying. It's quite annoying. I mean... Really weird way to play this card. This ungrateful world will perish. Be destroyed! Welcome home. No! I guess. That's a super weird turn. They'll all get some health back, but... You can do it. That's, a, that's a fun card. Okay. Alright, next time Naturo Machinus is coming out. Do I have any Machina cards? Okay, so uh, depending on what I top deck here. Ow! My love. Punishment awaits. Okay, so AM is coming out. I 
I think. That's pretty crappy. Steel Storm? No. Okay, I can finally, like, trade this. Well, that's still not gonna help, is it? I don't need to ramp anymore. This is kind of funny. Can I ping anything? No. I can heal a little bit. No, I'm gonna save him for the next... That's a little odd, isn't it? Welcome home. All right, I'm gonna evolve this. I've got nothing to fear. No! And I guess I'll drop. Jeez, I don't know. All right, I'll play it now. Well, that was dumb. All right, this is weird. I, I think I'm playing this very awkwardly. You can do it. What happens when this? All right, I need to kill her before that comes out. Look to the zenith, for there I will rise. You are done for. Embrace them in your fiery gale, solar wind. All alone, uh. Okay. Can I ping anything yet? No. So what I can do is I can drop another AM. This will be a similar fusion. Get that out of there. Give me another steel storm. Give me another steel storm. I will rise again. All right. How many trees have I destroyed? Only one tree. Okay. We're just gonna build a nice wide board then. Be consumed by the dragon's roar. From tepid squall to raging tempest. And we're gonna drop Is she storm? Two tune storm. Okay. Uh that'll good. This is gonna be a nice, nice wide board. Long game, but this is pretty, this is pretty massive right here. I can deal with Rolla, so that's gonna be four. I need, if they leave four damage on the board, they're toast. This is gonna be real difficult for them to solve. Okay. I have lost. Yep, that you have. Good to know the AM deck is still alive and kicking. Let's play some schmoes. Defeat isn't an option. Let's go home. Who is up first for schmo battles? We'll continue to do unlimited because that's what I set up, even though now I have a rotation deck that works. Um. Let's see, where is this called? First up, it looks like uh, Champion Leon. Champion Leon. Who is that? What's up, Joe? Hey, what's up? Is that you, Keaton? Yep, that's oh, me. Hey. Sweet. It's been a while since uh, we, uh, we last battled. That's like three months ago. Yeah, it's been a it's been a minute. Our match ID is four six seven four six. Come on in. So this battle this time I won't do 
Haven, but this time I'll do a different deck. This will be dedicated to Faye Mata. Okay, I will let Faye know. Where's my thing? Okay. But the deck is called Oh No, It's a Rain. Nice. This curse is my strength. My song will slay you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Good luck, Joe. Ditto. You destroyed me last time, I think, right? Yep, I destroyed you with the, with my haven. Yeah. With okay. On deck. Let's see how this. Let's see how this goes. Right. This is our fifth battle. <laughs> Just yeah. so you know. We've played a lot. Welcome to the destruction tour. Okay, no not too much choice here, so I'll do that. I never ramp on this deck, but I'm going to Let's see how it happens. My furious typing was letting Faye know of the, the dedication. Oh. <laughs> Really not feeling the momentum here. Yeah, right, what am I gonna pull? I can tell. Yeah. Let's teach you how powerless. I mean, I guess. So how are you against an artifact deck? You know, with this deck, sometimes um, I could be really successful, and sometimes I'm not. It really kind of depends on uh, a couple of the things that I draw here. So for example, like what I like about the artifact deck is that if I have a Phoenix Howl, I can clear the board. Um, and occasionally, uh, if it's like the Accelerasium deck, I have some counters to that that work okay, but it really kind of depends on how hard the cards plays out. Um, right. And there are a couple of things like because artifacts stacks the board so much, there are things I can do that make it a little easier for me. So it really depends. Mm -hmm. Here comes Faze. Nice. Can't be destroyed by effects. Can be destroyed by damage from effects. Okay. Oh, I would really like... Oh, that's kind of what I needed. Hmm... 
Okay. I definitely feel you you have an angelic smite. But this is gonna be a close battle. It will be close. It all kinda of depends on what you put down here. you choose I if you know what that's rough how rough that rough I was worried that I wasn't like it was all about that top deck if I didn't pull that goblin top deck I was done because you dropped yeah, that ward because I because you dropped I mean, that you, ward you if I hadn't a top deck that goblin that was it that was it yeah that was a good game, though. It was real close. On this one. <laughs> that was close. That was real close. Good game, Keaton. GG. Nice playing with you, as always. But yeah, that was it for Faye. That's a dedication. Yep. I'll let Faye know. Yeah, thanks, Joe. <laughs> Take care. And glory to the army of Faye and Billy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See ya. Marabou! You're in live chat. Marabou, I can't hear you. I see that you're not muted, but I don't see that you're talking. Wait. Sorry. There you are. Sorry, I, um, I have zero brain cells today. That's okay. I will give you some of mine. I need them. Our match ID is 46746, Marabou. Go first. Sorry? Can someone go ahead of me? I'm sorry. Are you having trouble? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll swap you out with General Setsubun. See you in a minute. Sorry. No worries. General Setsubun. You are in live chat. Make sure you unmute yourself, which I see you've done. Our match ID is 46746. Can't wait to play. All right. Nice. Okay. I'll just go ahead and concede as soon as we start, and we'll see how this goes.
Don't worry, I haven't played in like weeks. So, Rusty. This curse is my strength. Okay. Have we played before? No, nope, the first time. Okay, there's not too many masters that, that jump in here. Was that a, is that a grandmaster or is that a master token? I didn't see. Oh, uh, you talking about rank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, technically, I'm still AA one, but I got grandmaster. Nice. Oops. Yeah, there's only a couple people that have master ranks or AA one or even like yeah, any any of that. Okay, let's do this, I guess. Is this a rotation deck you just ported to Unlimited, or is this a... Um, no, it's just technically an Unlimited deck, but I don't remember what cards I added in here. Sure, yeah, yeah. Ooh, let's, uh, hmm, hmm. Let's ramp. Oh wait, do I want to? Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. You are too how powerless. Bow your head, fool. That's not really what I wanted at all. There is no meaning in foul forces of darkness. Bow before my wind. Grab oh, I hate that card. Okay, I'm gonna get it out of there as fast as I possibly can. Grab them courage. I hate that card. All right, uh, let's drop this one and this one. No. I've got nothing to fear. All right. Okay. Hmm. Kagebushi no jitsu. There we go. Okay. <laughs> how many of these? How many of these are we gonna see on the board? All right, no problem there. I don't think. Let's do this. Be consumed by the dragon's roar. It's okay, I'm sure you're going to deploy like four more of them. <laughs> uh, Let's see what I get. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, this works. Why did you draw so Why did you top deck so many cards? <laughs> it's because when Geld dies, I get so many. Oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. And we killed three of them that, that turn. One. <laughs> nice. Can I contend with that? Well, its effect doesn't. Okay, its effect doesn't go away, so I can still. Okay. So this should take care of that at least. We'll do it twice. Phew. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Fight together, everyone, for our future. You 
Oh man. I will support the vanguard. Carry on. How did you avoid my trap? Ah, my I, <laughs> that was a good game. Good game. I was uh I wasn't sure if you were so why didn't you go after the bigger Jade Long? I'm just curious. Because it had six Oh, HP it was at six. Dollar. Right, right, right. Sorry. Uh, that's math. That's my bad math. Well, good game. It was a pleasure. I hope we play again sometime. Good game. All right. Boo, are you ready, Boo? Talk to me, Boo. Boo, 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 boo. Boo 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 I don't hear you boo boo what's new boo I'm sorry, Mary Boo's probably over there having problems with her microphone, going like, I can't, I can't, I'm, I'm in her ear going, boo. I'm getting ghosted by my schmoes. That's, that's our relationship right now, is I'm getting ghosted by schmoes. Do we have anyone? Do we have anybody in the backup? Cause I can't, I can't hear Boo. Boo! <laughs> Kawaii will come to my home and yeet me. Okay, I'm being told one moment. She can't hear me. What's well, not my fault? There are 53 minutes left in the pancake and waffle fight, and it is still 49.3% to 50.7%. I can't handle this. I can't handle this, you guys. I cannot. I cannot. Can I hear you now? Yes. Can you hear me? Hey. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. It's working. It's so good oh to hear you. Okay. Are we ready to roll? 46746. Six. Slow down. 46746. Six. You got to get the game. 46746. Four, four, six. Oh. Uh, 46746. Six. That's the one. Salty. Is that? I see you. Pick your deck, boo. And let's do. Let's do, boo. Hope I picked the right deck because they're both very similar. They're named very similarly, and I and they're pretty similar decks, so I can't tell the difference between between them. We'll find out. We've played a couple of times, right? This curse is I believe this is our fourth or fifth time. Yeah, playing. all right. 
I haven't played in a while, to be honest. I've been busy. That's okay. Honestly, I haven't played too much off stream. I, there was a point where I was playing a tremendous amount. I think I've racked up 250 something hours in this game. Oh, wow. Which I, I that, that's probably the most I've ever played any game in my life, period. To be honest, I'd be surprised if my, uh, if my, if my hours went beyond, uh, beyond the, uh, double digits. What does Steam say? Let's see. Uh, play 270.2 hours. Now, granted, oh, okay. like, that's, you know, that's two, 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 if that's eight hours a month for the last year, and then, you know, but that's all, that's less than half of that, so I must have played a considerable amount by myself. I'm getting awful, awful draws. I mean, I've got this one. I've got this one card I, I I needed, but like everything else is utter garbage. Boo! Oh, I got the same card I needed, but not, but like I can't. Whatever. It's fine. I'll. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. My uh, uh my hand's a little jammed <laughs> right now for sure. That's. Oh, that sucks. Maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and win this am I, round. And am I concerned about chip damage or am I not? You know, I would say something, but I don't want to give myself away. No, it's okay. I have to make, I have to make my choices. Uh, and now, now I'm quite screwed. I'll be honest with you, like, I'm very screwed, depending on what I top deck for the next, like, three turns. That's a big oof right there. Yeah, this is uh, this is rough. This is super rough. I can't you know, believe I actually have a chance this time. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna see if I can can't draw some more here, because that's what I really need is a bigger hand. So we'll try that. Okay. Guess I can get some stuff out on the board. That's not how I like to use the Serpent Drake, but it's how I have to use the Serpent Drake. You've got some choices to make. I ward. Or should I just go full on and attack everything and take out half your Choices, choices, choices. Play it safe and ward. Mm. Yeah, maybe. There is no meaning in power. Would have rather d done something else, but... That was quite smart. I'll just take out that one. Just because I can. Hmm. I don't know what. No, hindsight 2020, I don't know why I didn't take out the goblin, but then again, you had the Drake, so. Yeah, probably would have. A little on the odd side, but it's not normally how I'd play any of this stuff. You know, the weirder the better for me. Yeah, okay. So I can't. Love that. Lovely. Perfect. Okay. Now that serpent will multiply. That's a scary looking board, but uh, you've been pretty good about defending yourself here. Should I I have the same conundrum. Do I ward up again or do I take out some cards? I have eight shadows, so I get, definitely can fan them how it. Is it? If I do that, then... Uh, let's see. Okay. I save it for one nine, which I don't think I'll be able to make it to nine. Hmm.
Ooh, that's uh That's gonna let me put pretty big beast on the board here. Shut up. Well we'll see. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's um took a bit. Should have taken out half your deck, but that's fine. That's a big that's a big big boy right there. All right. How do I how do I carve this up? Um this, I don't like the this. 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 <laughs> I don't like this. That's that's rough right there. That's tough. I don't like this. That's real tough. Um, I'm gonna save that last evolve. Easy oh boy, oh boy. I need to like not do oh that. No. <laughs> oh no. I can't even summon my serpents. If you make it out of this, it's a, a miracle. I don't think I'm going to. I have so much stuff in my hand that is exactly what I need. This is really rough, Boo. This this is really rough. <laughs> Catherine's mad at me for hitting children. Look, the game doesn't give me a choice. God, all my cards are useless in this. That's tough. That's a gigantic board. It's 23. I have 23 damage just sitting on the field. That's really difficult. It's useless until next turn. What about your board clearing card? It's just it's it's just a bunch of ghosts. Oh wow. So you can <laughs> You can get rid of I mean, it's not going to help you, but you can get rid of everything except Except the one card that will kill you. But you'll look good doing it. I'll look cool. That's all like that's no, all. No, that's I can good. So I'm going down fighting. You that's are going down fighting. Do. Great job. It's just this well, last one. I have an idea. No, 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 I didn't have time. Oh what? oh you could have done it! Don't do it! No, no, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. Here's why. Oh, Ozzy, Ozzy was in the deck. But what a great, what a great move. That was perfect. If you hadn't run out of time, that would have been very, very nice. Oh, I could have strung. It, it wouldn't have mattered because I had Ozzy in the hopper, but that was, uh, that was a great, that it was a great move. Cooler, you would have looked, you would have looked a, a modicum cooler for sure. But otherwise, that was a great game, Boo. Oh, I don't know why that didn't... <laughs> I forgot about Evolve! It's okay. You had it. You really had it. It was good. It was good. Ah, oh, next time. Next, next time, time, Boo. Great playing with you. Nice. GG. GG. Those are some great schmo games this morning, you guys. Those are some real tough games. Like, three, three really good, tough games in a row. That was pretty awesome. I'm going to be back tomorrow afternoon for some Fire Emblem action. Remember, Tuesdays and Thursdays are now 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. So I'll see you at 3.30 Pacific time for some Fire Emblem. We are gonna raid this person who I have no idea who this person is. Um, you tell him who sent you and have him roar for Dragoncraft. I will see you folks tomorrow. And I don't have my roar button, but I don't know. <laughs>